Hi everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to Love Positivism. I want to start by saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Those two words are two words that you could never, ever say too much. It's two words that mean so much for yourself, for other people, for the universe, for everything in your life. Because they are truly, truly two words that can help you achieve anything that you want in your life and to become as rich as you want. Because showing gratitude and expressing gratitude is one of the most important things to not only realize and appreciate what you have right now, but also to create more beautiful things in your life. So I would like to first of all show total gratitude, appreciation and humbleness to everyone that has just followed me on Instagram and given me so much love, inspiration, motivation and just gives me all the energy every day to keep on posting my thoughts, uh, beliefs and just words that I feel and need to express every day and I wouldn't do it unless I would get so much great energy and positive love back from you guys. So I really really appreciate that. I appreciate everyone around me that has given me the good energy that has led me to where I am today and I can't say enough thank you. I also really really want to thank one person that has really inspired me, motivated me and I really really want to say thank you to Ralph Smart. Uh, for everyone that don't know who it is, you should just check his YouTube uh, channel, Infinite Waters. He posts amazing, great videos every day to encourage people, motivate people, spread love, happiness, and that's what the world is all about. And the more people you can spread your love and energy to, the better. You will not only create richness in your own life, but in many people's lives. So I want to say thank you to you too. I have spoken a lot about gratitude in my posts and I feel like gratitude is something that really, really moves you forward in life. Because it is only when we can be grateful for everything that has been, everything that is, and everything that will be, that we are moving forward. If we can only learn how to see what we have in our life, to really, really see and focus on what is positive and what is there right now in the present moment, you will see that there is so much to be grateful for. And it will motivate you even more to be grateful and create more things to be grateful for. I feel like many of us, we are usually focusing on what is lacking in our life. And we can find a million things that we want to put into our life to receive to achieve but it is only when we can be grateful for what is now that we can totally appreciate and create what will be there tomorrow because unless you are happy in the present moment with what you have now you can continue to evolve and create even more things and you will put out the energy and a frequency to the universe telling the universe what, what it is you want to create more on. So whenever you focus all of your energy, your emotions, your thoughts, your dreams into 
being grateful for what is now, you will be able to create whatever you want tomorrow. But always remember that you are living right now. You're not living tomorrow. You're not living in a week. You're not living in a month, in a year, 10 years. You are right now. And right now is the most important time you have. So practicing gratitude each and every day is super, super important. Gratitude is not only something that you do to say thank you to people around you, but also something you do to thank yourself and thank the universe and everything around you for what has been created for you. So maybe you're thinking, well, there's a lot of things in my life that makes it hard for me to be grateful. And I understand that all of us have things that we will go through in life, obstacles, challenges, sometimes sorrow, Sometimes things are not as easy for us as other people. And it might be hard to see how to be grateful for in those situations. But believe me, from my experience and from everything that I have seen in my life, staying grateful in the hardest moments makes it much easier for you to go through those moments. So in a moment when you're feeling a lot of challenges, a lot of hardship, things that are not going exactly the way you want right then, you can still find a million things in that moment to be grateful for. You might forget about them because right then all of your energy and focus are going to the things that are tough. But when you stay focused, and try to eliminate the negative thoughts and emotions that are going directed to what is feeling tough right then, and what is taking your energy and maybe negative thoughts. Start to shifting your focus to still what is there, not what is not there. So gratitude is not something that we just express with words it is something that is felt and gratitude is, is actually something that should not only be some an activity to say oh i'm grateful for something it is actually a state of mind a grateful state of mind is something that you can have in your body in your heart in your soul each and every day and that makes you be able to see everything that is there to be grateful for. It can be something as simple as seeing a beautiful leaf on the street and feeling gratitude towards that leaf. It can be that you wake up in the morning and you can see and you can breathe and you can walk. It can be greater things. It can be your family. It can be those friends that you have there. It can be situations, people that you encounter. There, I promise you that there is everyday things to be grateful for. And when you start seeing these things, they will start to evolve and grow. And then every day you will see a million things to be grateful for. You will be so filled with gratitude. And that in turn turns to love and happiness. Because from gratitude, you can grow so much more positive emotions so practicing gratitude is super important it's something that has led me to a much happier and vital life and I really really express it each and every day to myself to other people to the universe and to everything that has been and everything that will come and it might be hard to start, but I have some simple tips about how to start to have the grateful state of mind. And the first thing you can do is very, very easy. And it's when you wake up in the morning, maybe even before you open your eyes, just take a deep breath and just express gratitude. Just say thank you 
Namaste for this day that will come. Thank you for the wonderful sleep that I had or the wonderful night that I had. Instead of filling your mind, starting with what you have to do, what you have done, what you haven't done, this, the mind starts taking control of your entire being early in the morning. Just wake up every day and state maybe three, four things that you are grateful for before you get out of bed. Then you can start filling your day with, with things that you are grateful for. You can find one thing on the way to work or school. Uh, and during the day, I'm sure you will express gratitude towards yourself and to other things that come your way that day. And even each and every day, maybe sending a thank you or saying a thank you to someone that you, crosses your path or someone that you haven't spoken to for a long time and just saying how thankful you are for that person, for what they have done, what they haven't done, for just being there, for existing. Because when you express gratitude to someone else, you will create even more great, grateful energy around you. And the person that you are feeling great, grateful towards, they will also feel deep gratitude within themselves. And they will spread this. And this is how one little word, one little act can make a huge difference in the world. And then in the end of the day, it's great to end the day with grateful thoughts. And I'm sure that, again, you can find four or five things that you can state you're grateful for. When you think of things you are grateful for, you're not just feeling positive in that moment. You're also reorganizing, reconnecting your brain and also teaching your brain how to think and feel because you have power over all your emotions, experiences, everything. Everything is in your mind. And instead of letting your mind control you by finding issues, problems, things that you have to worry about, if you start teaching your mind to be extremely present in the now, just feeling totally grateful right now, then you will slowly do this automatically, even in your subconscious. So you will go around with a sense of gratitude and happiness all day, every day. And it is a great feeling to have. And that will lay base for everything. It will lay a foundation for your life. But starting with being grateful, I have seen in my life, is extremely powerful. And when you start becoming, expressing gratitude, being grateful each, each and every day, you will see how everything around you will start building more things to be grateful for. And then you're overwhelmed. And I say that I, I always that I'm rich. I'm always rich because I'm always grateful. So I do not live in lack. I always feel abundant. I always feel filled with things that I'm grateful for. So I have nothing to be sad about. So even when, when a tough time comes or an obstacle comes or you get news that are not very uh, positive right in the moment, you can even in those moments find things that is there to teach you and to be grateful for. So again, thank you so much, everyone. I will continue posting and I hope you find this helpful. And I wish, want to wish you all a great, great holiday. Thank you so much. Namaste.